calling it a love song. What is up my awesome gemstones? It's Mary Gem and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be super amazing, super juicy. So this is how does your crush see you? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five piles here today. Let's get into it. So pile number five, we have this crystal. I do not know the names of any of them, so I'm very sorry about that. Pile two, we have this little cork thing for wine. Pile three, we have this cute little light blue crystal. Pile four, we have this like earth sign green brown type crystal. And pile number five, we have this um, purple like quartz type crystal. Okay. So these are the five piles. Pick whichever one you would like. I love you so much. And let's get into the video. And there we go. So pile number one, how does your crush see you? Okay, so this is a crystal that I'm going to be using for you. Um, and yeah, this is your channeled message. Okay, first, I don't know why, but I've been into using like the Tarot of Sexual Magic, even when it isn't a sexual reading. And if something sexual does come up, that's like a plus. So, um, yeah, let's see. So, Spirit, um, thank you so much for being here. Can we please clear out the energy? Um, how does Paul One's crush see them? How does Paul One's crush see them? Okay. How does Paul One's crush see them? Okay, Six of Wands. Ooh, Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles king of swords and we have the chariot card okay so <laughs> okay how does your crush see you let's get into your channel message first okay so it says i think you're fun to be around you say interesting things you talk funny and usually i have no idea what you're talking about but you're happy how can i be happy like you Ooh, okay. It's definitely giving Secretariat from Bojack Horseman. But the energy that I'm busy getting, I mean, Six of Wands, I feel like you're someone that's very desirable. But then at the same time, there's this contrast about them not being able to be with you. You know, I feel like for some reason, they get the energy that they need to keep their distance. Or maybe it's you. I feel like as much as you think you're being open, a part of you is holding back, you know, because Six of Wands is this energy where you're moving forward, you're talking, you're flirting, you're doing all the stuff, but then Six of Swords, it's just talk, you know, and like in reality, you're actually, oof, this lighting. Um, but yeah, and then in reality, you're not really actually opening up. In reality, you're just um, being more distant than you think you are, you know. It's definitely giving a lot of um, fire sign energy. So you could be a Sag moon or a Sag Venus. So Sagittarius, um, Aries or a Leo. Because I know a lot of fire signs are very intense when it comes to their crushes and when it comes to like infatuation. And they think they're being open. Even air signs, they think they're being open. But like in reality, actually they aren't. So I feel like they get the energy that you aren't as open as you seem. And um, you're more closed off than they would have imagined. I feel like they had this preconceived idea of you. And then when they met you, it was like completely different. Nine of Swords that came upright. Let me get some clarification cards quickly. Spirit, how does Pile One's crush see them? Pile One's crush. How do they see Pile One's crush? Ooh. How does Pile One's crush see them, I mean? So we have the Page of Swords, the Death card, and then also the Three of Swords. Okay, I'm just going to leave these over here. Um... So yeah, I feel like the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Three of Swords. So again, this just talk it just talks about um them kind of wanting to like approach you and talk to you, but then also feeling like you're so closed off. Yeah, they feel like you're really closed off at times. 
you have this like this is like a king of swords and the king of pentacles and we have the chariot so there could be a cancer or you could be a cancer but there's this energy where it's like oh i know more than you i'm not better than you but like i might be and like it's okay if you think i'm better than you but like i'm really not like that's the energy that i'm busy getting from you um ten of cups you're someone that's very loving okay they say that you're fun to be around <clears throat> You know, nine of swords, you're really intelligent. I feel like you speak your mind and you speak about things that are hard to talk about. You know, maybe sometimes you are the downer in the conversation or you do bring up things that like maybe people don't want to talk about at that certain time. You know, maybe like when you're drinking or when you're like tripping out on weed or something, like you'll bring up certain things and you'll talk about certain things and it's kind of like maybe now isn't the right time to talk about it and they kind of feel like you're a bit ballsy for doing that, you know, for being able to talk about that. Um, yeah, they think you're funny, but sometimes they wonder kind of like with the chariot card, um, this talks about family problems, it talks about kind of having to overcome certain things and doing it because you have to. And I feel like part of them wants to know how you can be so happy. Because King of Swords, it's it's an okay card to get, you know. It just talks about you being used to pain and you kind of letting it be your armor or like you having this sort of persona. Even if it's being happy, you know, I feel like you have this persona. But then with the King of Pentacles, it's kind of like it is a facade, you know, I feel like they know that, you know, page of wands, you're more immature and I feel like you're more like, you don't know as much as you think you do and I feel like they get that energy, but like not really, they, like part of them is kind of like, oh, you're smart, you're educated, you know what you're talking about, but then sometimes they get this energy where it's like, maybe not, you know, like maybe you do know less, maybe, um, you aren't as happy as you seem maybe not that you aren't as smart as you seem but you don't know everything that you're talking about you know sometimes when you're being sarcastic you actually mean what you're saying um but there is this maturity energy where they see you as being very mature but i feel like at the back of their mind they hope that you aren't as mature as you seem they hope that you aren't out of their league um but yeah, you know how to make your money, you know how to talk yourself out of different situations, very intelligent, very quick-witted, you know, dry sense of humor, and I feel like you have the same sense of humor as them. Seven of Swords, this does talk about sneaky behavior or like going behind someone's back, so this could be a third party, or I just feel like they recently rejected someone, and I don't think they did it for you specifically, but you kind of were a factor in it, you know? I feel like they were in an unhappy relationship. They ended it and now it's kind of like you came along. So it might be hard for them to see you in a romantic way, but it's not because of anything that you did. It's not because they don't like you. It's just more because the death card, they're going through a transformation and they kind of have to um, change how they look at different people because when they were in a relationship, they couldn't have these thoughts. They couldn't think about someone else being um attractive where they couldn't act on it but now they can you know and it makes things difficult for them as well um so yeah let me pull out some more cards though so spirit how does pal one's crush see them just one more card or two <laughs> so we have the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles that came upright so eight of pentacles they feel like you are working on yourself you know you're working on your coins you're focusing on your career right now you're putting in the effort really you know i feel like you're doing whatever it takes to get to where you want to be and that's where that king mentality and that king energy comes from you know you're trying to be the best you're going to be the best and they know that they know you're gonna accomplish so many things in the future future and even right now and I feel like part of them feels like they need to catch up with you but then I feel like they aren't you know they aren't catching up with you and maybe they're making that decision they're kind of saying like you can come to me but like I can't catch up with you right now I'm too preoccupied with other things but if I did, like, what would happen, you know? Like, what would happen if I did do that? What would happen if I did come forward towards you? Like, would that be a good idea? Would it be worth it? Or would um, it end up in pain? Or would it just remind me of my ex or something? Or would it just, like, backtrack me from my spiritual and, like, how much I've healed and stuff? 
So that is what I got for pile one. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much and let's get into the next one. Okay, pile number two, you guys chose this little cork thing. It reminds me of cork from Star Trek. I'll insert a photo of cork. But yeah, he's actually a really cool character. Anyways, so let's see. How does your crush see you? Okay, I'm going to put your thing over there. And then this is your channeled message. So I'm going to start with a tarot of sexual magic. Just because I like it. It's a cool deck. So let's see. Whoa, I didn't even ask a question. So Spirit, how does Paul 2's crush see them? Paul 2's crush, how do they see Paul 2's crush? Thank you, Spirit. We're clearing out the energy. This is just for Pile 2. How does Paul 2's crush see them? Paul 2's crush. Oof. So many cards just want to come out. So I feel like I need to read all of them, okay? This is a lot. Let's see how much we can read. So we have the Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Death card, Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so these three cards actually came up in the previous reading, and it's making me think I should just reshuffle these. And the Chariot card. So Spirit, how does Paul II's crush see them? A Tower card. Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. That seems more accurate. Okay. So, you know, just with having to reshuffle the cards, I do feel like there's old energy and there's new energy coming in, you know. I feel like there's this energy where they view you kind of like an ocean, you know. I feel like there's ups and downs. I feel like... Um, there's this quote that I saw about like sometimes when you're really stressed out you just like listen to the ocean and you just watch how like majestic it is and like something that seems so vicious like the ocean like you know the waves are crazy and it's like intense but like it can also be really charming like it's an oxymoron but let's see so part number two your channeled message says you're harder to read than most you've been in close proximity with me usually i'm trying to get out of your way someone said i should stay away from you why does everyone have an opinion about you mm, this person could definitely be a bit self-conscious i'm gonna leave this over here so how do how does paul two's crush see them um six of swords there is this energy where i feel like it used to be sneaky they used to look at you in a way where like they would sneak some glances, they would, you know, look at you and be like, hey, yo, like, you're kind of attractive, you're kind of cute, like, what would be happening? Like, can I offer you something? But it was very sneakily, sneak, it was very sneaky, very, like, you know, under the wraps, like, I just feel like they had a crush on you a while ago, but they never told you, like, it was very under the wraps, very casual, just more like, oh, I see you, you're pretty attractive, like, damn, who is this person? Like, can I slide through? Um, there is this energy where maybe like they thought about hooking up with you or they thought that this wouldn't be a very serious relationship. They thought it would just be, you know, strictly like, you know, sexual or something. And then Three of Pentacles, they were just trying to kind of gather on whether you were in a relationship or not and whether you were open to just having sex with them. I feel like they view you like that, you know, it's very much like sexual. I feel like they aren't in the right headspace to be in a relationship um so yeah the death card does talk about you know ending a connection and starting something new so i feel like you guys could have gone through a ghosting period where when they first met you like i said they were trying to see like are you gonna smash are you gonna smash or are you not gonna smash like to smash or not to smash that is the question okay so I feel like that's how they first viewed you, but then their opinion of you changed because a lot of people have opinions about you and they keep hearing things about you or sometimes you post something or sometimes they see you um, in someone else's story or someone's busy talking about you and you come up and then every time they try to find out things about you, they hear different things. I just feel like they're kind of like even a bit scared of you. They're kind of scared that like something's going to happen. 
because I feel like they don't want something to happen, but they have a sneaking suspicion that something is going to happen. They have been looking at you for a while. There is that, you know, connection between you. They're kind of like, damn it, like, no, nothing can happen. Like, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. But I feel like with the tower card being the last card, something's going to happen. I'm telling you now, okay? I feel like both of you kind of can't... Um, say no to what's happening i mean obviously everything's consensual i just mean like it's hard to fight the urge to like be curious about you and want to know more about you you know they're saying you're hard to read and i feel like because of that it makes them even more intrigued so something is going to happen 100 percent um so yeah, Queen of Pentacles, they see you as someone that is kind of like used to a lot of attention. I feel like you're used to people having crushes on you. Um, even Six of Pentacles, you you know that you're attractive. You know that people want you. You know that you have a lot of admirers. You know that people talk about you, that you have a lot of friends, um, and that you're confident and everything. Um, yeah, you're making your money. You're focused on yourself right now. And sometimes you don't even notice when they're looking at you. But I feel like both of you are trying to play it kind of coy. Both of you are trying to be like, oh, what? No, not me. You know? Um, yeah, I feel like they're just saying, like, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. But they keep saying that even when they know something's going to happen. It's like going on a first date and then wearing, like, sexy lingerie and, like, shaving your punani and shaving all over. But being like... I'm not gonna sleep with them on the first date but then why'd you shave why'd you do that stuff though you know and I feel like that's their energy seven of pentacles they're they're saying like nothing's gonna happen but then at the same time they keep looking at you they also want to offer you something you know knight of pentacles they want to move forward towards you but it's gonna be super slow and the tower card I feel like something's gonna happen but not because they wanted it to happen just because they felt like it was supposed to you know you guys were at the right place at the right time or at the wrong place at the wrong time and then something happened and it's kind of like now they have to deal with the consequences because I do feel like Paul too there are gonna be consequences to this connection if y'all move forward something's gonna happen you know you guys are gonna have to deal with like um what's the word like not repercussions, but like, yeah, something along those lines. So, Spirit, how does Paul 2's crush see them? Paul 2's crush. The lover's card. Okay. Okay. And the justice card. So, we have Gemini energy. The tower card. Okay, Scorpio energy. And we have um, Sagittarius energy. I forgot who rules the tower card. But, um, yeah. So, they need to make a decision kind of like... Is this going to happen or is this not going to happen? I need to keep my feelings in check. I need to make sure that I don't move forward towards you. But it's really hard to fight the urge, okay? That's what I'm busy getting. So that's what I got for Pal 2. I really hope the video resonates it. I love you so much. And let's get into the next one. All right, pile number three. And also, it was just 444 four, four now. And sorry about the bright lighting. Okay, so, who, blah, blah, blah. how does your crush see you? Sorry about that. So, we have this crystal. And then, we also have your channeled message. But let's first take out your cards. And then, we'll see. How does your crush see you? So, thank you so much, for it for being here. Can we please clear out the energy? This is just for pile three. How does their crush see them? How does Pile Three's crush see them? I always skip through the shuffling. I'm like really impatient, so you could be impatient. We're like you're just like tell me what they're gonna say. Tell me now. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm sorry, anticipation. And I keep saying sorry. There's this energy where it's just very like okay, I'm I'm going. I'm I'm, I'm gonna start now. Okay. Okay, let's just do this. So, Spirit, how does Pile Three's crush see them? Okay, we have Five of Cups, King of Swords, the Emperor card, Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. The Chariot, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and also the Ace of Chalices. So, let's start with your channeled message. So, it says, You're too good for people. You try to make others happy. I know you want better and you're settling. I should let you know 
now you are and always will be the best thing i never had oh oh my god it's beyonce best thing i never i'll link down the song best thing i never had um so let's get into this how does your crush see you pile number three so this person is saying that they've noticed okay <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry about that so part three, I feel like this person is saying that they've noticed, okay? They've noticed the looks, the stares. They've noticed things about you that a lot of people doesn't. And I'm hearing that your crush knows a secret about you that you haven't told anyone else. Um, maybe you dated this person in the past or they heard something about you that is a bit like invasive. But I feel like they spoke to one of your exes or they spoke to one of your best friends and they told him or they told them um, a secret about you. And I feel like it's kind of like eating you up inside because you know that they know and they know that you probably know what they know. So, five of chalices, um, this does talk about a breakup, it does talk about, you know, leaving a connection, so I feel like part of them feels like they need to walk away from you, um, because <clears throat> this is walking away, but then Ace of Cups, it talks about emotions and feelings that they still have for you, but then kind of trying to find the right way to approach it, trying to find out, like, you know, when you ask someone, like, do they have feelings for me? And um, I remember Sal in Eat, Read, Love, like, he mentioned that. And it's like, obviously, they have feelings for you. But now, what type of feelings is it? Is it romantic? Is it platonic? Is it hostile? Is it this? Is it that? So this person definitely has feelings for you. But I feel like they're still trying to figure out kind of like, where can they put those feelings in? Ace of Swords. They're thinking about it. They're like, do I like you? Do I not like you? Do I think that you know, Knight of Swords, like, something's gonna happen or we should do something again. Should we repeat what happened before? Um, Eight of Cups. What if it's hollow? What if this connection is too hollow? What if it's too hard to, like, start a foundation again? What if because what happened in the past is so prevalent that it's gonna stop you guys from being able to get together again? what if what they know about you changes how they view you so much um a lot of like hypotheticals the emperor cause so we have aries energy and like i said we have cancer energy so there could be um a cancer scorpio pisces an aries or gemini libra aquarius i'm definitely getting aquarius gemini libra so this person feels like they know how they feel and they feel like they're the ones in control and in charge of this relationship. They feel like they have more restraint. They feel like they know more about you than you know about you. Because they're saying like you're too good for people. Like I know you try to make other people happy. I know that you're that you're settling. I know this. Like they just feel like they know more than you about this connection. So I think before anything can move forward, you need to ask them, like, they're hiding something from you. 100% they're hiding something from you that they don't want you to know. Um, and it's about this connection. It's about something that happened in the past that they haven't told you. So it could be something that happened in their past relationship that you don't know about. You know, maybe they said that they were in a casual relationship but it's actually more serious than they let you know and actually it affected them way more than they thought they thought they were ready at the time but actually they aren't you know they thought they were ready for something serious but they realized the chariot card that they have to do way more healing they have a lot more shit they have to deal with before they can move forward you know they know what's best for them and they're saying like you shouldn't settle for them and like, even if you guys don't end up back together or getting together, you're the best thing they never had. <laughs> because um, this Knight of Swords, it talks about them wanting to say something to you. Them being very sure of their feelings. Like, if they've told you before how they felt, take it at face value. If they said something to you, if they show their true colors, don't try to see... Don't try to read between the lines. 
because you're just going to end up getting more and more confused. I feel like they said what they said and they're kind of saying like that's how it's going to be. Spirit, how does Paul 3's crush see them? So we have the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So we have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. We're just missing the Ace of Pentacles. That's the foundation. That's the hollowness where it comes. Where I feel like if you were to get with this person, it would just be so surface level. It would be so awkward, so boring. I feel like you guys don't have enough in common. Like, dead ass. I think you can do way better than this person. And even if you're like, no, like, it's not like that. I just feel like there needs to be a stronger foundation for this connection to work. You know, Ace of Wands, as much as you guys could move forward, it just wouldn't be worth it, I feel like. On your end. Three of Swords. This talks about pain, you know, heartache. They've been through that. They've done that. Been there, done that, you know. And I feel like right now, they're just going off to surface level things. They're looking at surface level things. They're worrying about things that don't actually matter in the grand scheme of things. You know, sometimes when you're in a relationship, you think about like all this shit that's busy happening. But it's kind of like that doesn't matter in the great grand scheme of things. But it matters to them immensely. So that's what I got for part number three. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. And let's get into the next one what is up pile number four so you guys chose this a beautiful crystal okay french accent okay that was so bad i'm so sorry to any french people watching i apologize but yeah so um how does your crush see you let's get into this so spirit thank you so much for being here can we please clear the energy this is just for pile four how does pile four's crush see them how does pile four's crush see them I'm hearing it's hard to tell you. Feels like I've loved you for such a long time. I love you. I want to be with you. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm definitely hearing a lot of that. <laughs> so we have the Six of Cups. We have the Devil card. Okay. We have the King of Cups. Eight of Wands. The Tower card again. That was in a previous reading. How does Pile of Force Crush see them? Okay, we got the Eight of Cups. I put it back, but it just came out again. Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups. So we have a lot of Eight, Eight energy, okay? Interesting. Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups that came upright. So this is a big ass spread. Um, Let's get into your channeled message first. So it says, we fit together, me and you. I feel like I was meant to meet you. We never have enough time. And I think about telling you how I feel all the time. Like, what would you say? Would I get rejected? Do you love me? This person is in love with you, okay, pal four? That's already, that's already there, okay? This person definitely has a lot of love for you. They really care about you a lot. Um, a six of Cups, there's this, like, Milikani type vibe where they feel like they met you before. They feel like there's a reason why you, why you met. The Devil card can talk about, you know, toxic relationships because we have Capricorn and then we also have the Tower card. Um, I forgot who rules the Tower though. I forgot. But um, we have these two contrasting energy where, you know, addiction, um, like not negative energy, but yeah, things that are just toxic. And then we have this Tower card where it comes to a climax. You know, it's like there's only so much that you can keep to yourself. There's only so much that you can carry by yourself. You know, they feel like they want to offer you something. I feel like something's been weighing really hard on their chest and they kind of just want to let it loose. A king of cups, they have a lot of love for you and they want to show you that they can be a good partner for you, that they can do and be the person that you want them to be. Eight of Wands, they want to take you out, they want to do the wine and dine. I feel like they want to do so many things for you, but then at the same time, they feel like, what if you don't feel the same name, the same way? Or what if um, they say something or you guys do something together and then it ruins everything? 
you know sometimes they feel like they have to bite their tongue when they're with you because they talk a lot you know and i feel like they mess up things really easily or at least that's what they think they think that they always mess up everything they feel like um their self-esteem is really low and they keep saying like i'm just gonna mess it up um i'm not good enough i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that you're gonna end up hating me just like that type of thing or they're saying like you won't want to be with them in the future <clears throat> so ten of cups yeah they're right about how this connection's going to end but they do have a lot of love for you i feel like they've been working towards being the perfect partner for you you know and i feel like they just keep getting distracted though they keep getting distracted something's always on their mind something else i don't think it's someone else but something else because eight of swords it's interesting because literally the devil card is here wait can you see this look at this detail this is the devil card and if we look at the eight of swords that's the devil there again so one of their demons is trying to like come back or one of their exes are trying to come back and i do feel like they are trying to kind of like end things or i feel like they did end things but it's kind of like they have an obsessive ex they have someone that doesn't want them to move on you know and i feel like they keep thinking about that they keep thinking like what if you think that something's happening when nothing's happening or what if you find out about my past and then you don't like what i'm i don't know but like i feel like really it doesn't matter um so yeah i feel like they might have an obsessive ex or um they have really overprotective parents or something about cultural differences um maybe they're moving away somewhere ace of wands but they want to make a move towards you but they need to deal with these other things first they need to deal with the tower that's going to happen and the tower card is basically chaos it's it's horrible going through it you know it sucks and the devil card going through addiction you know um so spirit how does power force crush see them how does power force crush see them Ooh. so we have the emperor five of swords and four of swords okay interesting um so we have aries energy they feel like you're only seeing one side of them and if you see their other side if they tell you everything about them maybe you won't like them anymore they've been acting like they're this you know perfect person or that they um similar to pile number one where like they know what they're doing they're like no like there's no red flags. They've been just showing you their front face, you know, the emperor card. They only show one side of their face. They don't show the other side. And the five of swords, they feel like it's going to make you not want to talk to them, not want to be with them. They feel like their life is so complicated. They're going through the tower card. They feel like they don't want to drag you down with them. You know, but I feel like you're willing to be that person. Like you aren't going to run away from them. But if you do, you do, you know um four swords they just need some time to deal with what they're going through right now they're gonna start a healing period they're gonna um maybe not ghost you but they're gonna talk to you less and i feel like you shouldn't take it personally this person likes you back okay pal four your crush likes you back they love you back they want to be with you all the vibes i just feel like there's other things that are factors that they need to deal with before it gets out of hand before it actually does become the devil, you know? So, that is what I got for pile number four. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye! What is up, pile number five? So, this is a crystal that you guys chose, and this video is about how does your crush see you? So, <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. But yeah, this is your channeled message. Let's first get into how does your crush see you, okay? So, let's see. Spirit, can we please clear the energy? This is just for pile number five. Let me move these out the way. This is just for pile five. How does pile five's crush see them? Oops. How does pile five's crush see them? 
And let's set some radioactive, radioactive. So we have the Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Third Party, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Wheel card, and the Queen, oh, the Knight of Wands that came upright. Let's pull out one more card. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, okay. That's enough to give me the just of this. Let's start with your channeled message. So it says, I think you're hot. We're not the best pair together. We get toxic. I have a partner, but I catch myself looking at you. I'd be with you. I'd leave my partner for you. I'm scared of you. How do you make me feel? Oh, pile number five. I feel like you've been using subliminals. You've been doing some witchcraft on this person and it's working. Okay, it's it's working. Um, it's definitely giving Leo Gemini vibes. Um, it's giving, yeah, Gemini Libra Aquarius and it's also giving um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo energy as well. Like Sun, Moon and Venus, Earth sign. And then let's say <laughs> like a water, wait, sun, moon, rising. Let's say water, Venus, and then Leo rising, Leo, Mercury, Leo, Leo, Mars. Yeah, that type of stuff. So how does your crush see you, pal five? With the seven of cups, I feel like um, there is a lot of toxic energy in this connection. You know, um, this talks about having a lot of different options. It talks about um kind of having to make a decision because there's so many options because there's so many people that you can choose between and i feel like this person is really attractive i feel like they have a lot of suitors out there you know and it's kind of like out of all of them you caught their eye and i know that sounds kind of bad but um that's the energy that i'm busy getting let me just move these up um six of cups again this melancholy vibe you know you can see these two people busy kissing i don't know if you can see but these two people are busy kissing and then she's just watching them you know i feel like you know that you're not the only person you know that this might end up in tears ten of swords you know this connection won't end up you know where you want it to be three of three of cups you know you know it's a third party ten of pentacles you know that you know, if this is just like a hookup, you can get what you want. I feel like you know that you can move forward with this person, but it's just more about, are you sure that's what you want to do? I feel like you have a crush on someone that you know you shouldn't go after. You know that you shouldn't be with them. You know that um, you should keep your distance. Like, it reminds me of my one Aries friend where they had been celibate for like two years and then they met someone and they made them feel a lot of things that they hadn't felt before and they were like you know what like let me just go for it let me just you know fuck them and like da 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 but then in the end they decided not to because it's such a waste they were like i've been keeping myself i've been you know working on myself and i'm not gonna throw it away just for like a casual hookup not that i'm saying that's what this is but i feel like there's gonna be a lot of toxicness in this connection like it's gonna be hot you know night of wands it's gonna be hot it's gonna be sexy there's like a lot of like sexual energy up in this okay they find you sexually attractive there is that wheel of fortune you know things will change they won't always be with this person two of pentacles they want to talk to you they want to form a foundation with you they want to talk to you outside of their relationship you know I feel like they're going to make sure that they treat you well, even if they're in a relationship. You know, they're going to say, I'm not going to disrespect you. Queen of Pentacles, this person's literally on their freaking... They're kissing this woman's feet, okay? They're, they're groveling. They're saying, like, I'm going to treat you like a queen. You know, Three of Pentacles, they're trying to convince you that, like, this isn't a bad thing. And I feel like you need to know that it might be. This is similar to pile number three, I think, where it's kind of like someone has to have the restraint. Someone has to say, no, this connection shouldn't go on. But I can't see this connection like moving forward, but it's just like, be careful with the toxicness. Because sometimes if a relationship starts off toxic, it's going to end on a toxic note. Or they say how you guys got together is going to be how you guys break up. And I'm not trying to be negative, pile five, but let me just see so spirit 
How does Paul Fives crush see them? The Tower card, Temperance card, and the Six of Pentacles. This connection is going to cause a Tower card moment where a lot of secrets are going to come out, a lot of toxicness. It's going to bring out your ugly side, their ugly side. You know, this can be a twin flame situation where it's kind of like meeting your match. The Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. You're going to be questioning yourself, questioning your sanity, questioning everything. I feel like if you want to go for like, you know, the... Um, if you want to go down this route where it's just like, it's hot, it's sexy, it's fun, it's new, I'm young, let me just be free. Go for it, you know, go for it, pile number five. Um, do what you want to do. I'm not going to tell you not to go after someone or like not to do something. Um, but yeah, six of pentacles. I feel like if you're looking for a rush, if you're looking for a good time, go for this person, you know. I feel like they'd be down. I feel like um, it could happen definitely if nothing has happened yet i feel like something can happen you know it's just all about um finding the right way to approach this and um talking out things you know making sure that you guys are on the same page like make sure you find out like is this strictly sexual or is this romantic or like what's happening like ask them what's happening um, but yeah, anyways, that is what I got for Pile 5. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can also um, purchase a personal reading from me down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!